everybody, and it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today, you guys, we are kind of retesting a never vanquished foe. Do you guys remember 2016's Time Iron? There is now a Time 2. Time 2 Pro. I bought it on Amazon. This thing was kind of a trip the first time I tried it. It is supposed to be, and I quote, the easiest way to curl your hair. They tout that it is simpler to use than even like a clipless curling iron, and it is also like a dual purpose kind of thing because I'm sure you guys can tell it looks very freakish. One side you can put this thing towards your head and it is actually a hair straightener. Other side if you put it towards your head and do a vroom like a motorcycle motion, <laughs> we'll get to that in just a minute, it is supposed to make beautiful, perfect curls. And they act, oh my god, you guys, this thing and I, I feel like we are battling against each other. I keep pinching my fingers on the base here and literally in 2016 when I tested out version one I was so dumb 100% user you use use user error I set it on my leg I thought I could set the curb side on my leg what 450 degrees to the thigh I, like I was in a really like silly goofy mood the first time that I tested the original one out so I'm not sure that it got like a 100% fair test the first time I did it and I swear this thing has got to be really popular because I think that they offer it in like eight different colorways now there's a couple different versions so I feel like people who get to use it they have to love it there is a cult of time out there and i want to join i also just wanted to pop on here with these lashes you guys i just was testing out the world's longest eyelashes 70 millimeters how do they look you know really natural i'm sure grab these bad boys off because i feel they're surprisingly like comfortable like i'm almost tempted to leave them on you know should i leave them on I don't know whether I want to rip them off or leave them off. They're kind of making my eyes like sweat a little bit. Like I've never felt eye sweats before today. Yes, the light is glowing. Can you tell? Version one did not have different heat settings. The lowest is 325. The highest is 400 degrees. And I have seen that if you want like super tight ringlety curls, which you guys know normally that is what I am going for. I'm just trying to live out my Victorian ghostly fantasies. So 400 degrees is supposed to produce those. So I'm going to crank it all the way up to zero regrets as I fry every last bit of hair off my head. 400 degrees. I try I tried to be a little bit more prepared for this video, like versus the last time I did this. The method is supposed to be the same, you guys. I swear sometimes when I'm just like styling my hair, it's a random Tuesday, all these years later, vroom like a motorcycle gets stuck in my head. Do you guys remember that? There was a lot of vrooming like a motorcycle attempts made in the first video because you're supposed to put it in your head, Room like a motorcycle and then pull it through. Let me go ahead and take my hair down. And I do have extensions in my hair, so um, give me just a second to remove. I even have my little magic hair piece. <gasps> you guys, I love, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show you guys my beauty secrets. My secret of glue a bunch of fake hair to your head. And by glue, I mean clip. I love this little bang piece. I crimped it. Hello. Please get out of my hair. Yeah. Oh, that's a black extension. That's not what I'm trying to show you guys. Get out of here. I love you, but get out of here. This is what I'm trying to show you guys. This is like a bang extension piece. Ah! This is why I'm ripping all my hair out of my head. This is my little friend. Say hello. I love this. It's like a bang piece, but I just put it on top of my head and like, I don't have to wear it as bangs. Like sometimes I just pull my hair back and it looks like I have shorter layers on top of my head. It's There's so many, you guys, y'all have to get one of these. It's like one of my favorite things I've ever bought from Amazon. And then look at that. They even included scalp. Okay, can you guys see the scalp? It's amazing. It looks so natural. Oh, we could give it to Shrek. Look, do you want some hair? School picture day. 
<gasps> Look at that. Okay, why am I filming all this? No one needs to see this. No one needs to see my armpits. I also feel like maybe it's gonna be a little bit easier for me this time because I do believe that this is like the shortest that my hair has been in the last like 15 years. Last time, I feel like it was maybe a little bit more difficult on me because my hair was like super duper like butt length. And now my hair is much shorter and I'm about to cut it again, you guys, myself. Cause now that I've cut my own hair, I feel like I can just keep doing it. So first we're gonna just try and straighten it. See, that's where I think I messed up last time as well, you guys. And I feel like I'm continuing to mess up because everyone does say that if you clamp too tightly on this device, you put too much pressure, you like squeeze the plates together too harshly. I just said the same thing three times over. Anyway, they say that if you squeeze the plates too tight, that it will not do very good and it will like snag on the hair. And I think I just did that again because it did straighten my hair, but it was, it was very grabby. Did you guys see that? The other thing that you're supposed to do is pull the hair forward. They say not up, or back, which why the hell would you do that? To the side, you know, just just like forward. Am I gonna be able to do it? All right, you put it there, yeah. You throw the hair, yeah. You rim like a motorcycle, and you then glide the hair through, right? What is that? Uh. Okay, and then they do that, you know. What is that? I feel like I need heat protectant spray. Why don't I ever remember to apply this? You guys, it smells like my hair is cooking in here. Ugh. Eh. It's too late for that piece. I feel like it's just freshly baked chicken, you guys. It's $4.99 at Kroger right now. Is this why I stopped filming at 3 a.m.? It's like a 3 a.m. challenge. How crazy am I at 3 a.m.? <sighs> I'm really distressed that I'm not gonna be able to get this to work. Cause I thought like, oh, you've learned so much in the past four years. <laughs> um, okay, now this is like very moist. I think I did too much heat protectant spray. Can I do that while it's wet? Do I need to wait till it's dry? Oh my God, look, my side profile is like Lola's right here. You know, you know that one? I feel like that's me. <gasps> oh, I know what I can do, look. We can do this together. You guys do ice rolling. <gasps> Ooh, this is so cold. You know what? Am I supposed to be not using the smooth side? Cause I always do. Maybe I'm supposed to be using the bumpy side. Oh, it's so cold. Do I look thinner? I honestly don't know what this is for, but I started doing it. But I bet you're not supposed to do this with makeup on. So what am I doing wrong today, you guys, besides literally every single thing that I'm doing? Every time I touch my throat, I think of Hocus Pocus when they say chungs. Let's get down to business. That's not a song. Let's get down. What is that from? This has to work. I did watch a video earlier today in which they use the word discipline a lot with this thing, discipline. And I feel like that's just not, I'm not very good with discipline, you know? When they were handcrafting me in heaven or hell, I can't really decide which I came from. I think that they just left that ingredient out. They added other things like wackiness, surplus of. They left out the discipline one. All right, uh, here we go. Yes, okay, now what am I doing wrong? Toward smooth, toward head, yes. Now, Nah, room like a motorcycle. Oh my God. My hair is literally, ah! what is that? Ah! Y'all, I just have to cut this bottom part off now. <laughs> it is a little curled, but it is also, oh, look at that. It's cooked and curled. Okay. Can I do, you know what? No, no, no. We're not gonna do this at 400 anymore. Cause if I do, I'm not gonna have hair. And I already know that the bottom is damaged. Once again, I'm gonna have to cut it off. But like, literally. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do like the top. That's what I'm gonna do. I feel like I'm struggling with the bottom layers. So we're just gonna give myself 
a top layer. Do I want to do that? No, 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 we're not going to do that. Okay, because I was like literally just thinking like if I'm going to cook my hair, like the top is the most important portion of the hair. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna keep using these lower layers of like red shirt hair down here. Night and then like a motorcycle. Listen to my hair being cooked. What the hell is that? Do you know what I think messes me up every single time is the part where you like flip the hair back. Why is that complicated? It shouldn't be. Um, maybe I'm gripping too hard. They did say like, keep your fingers down here towards the base where the, you know, where the dots are, the temperature indicating dots. And I'm doing that, but maybe am I still gripping too firmly? I don't know. Okay, if I sing one more time, to, you know what? I'm gonna curl it all the way around. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a big vroom. Big vroom, little vroom, it all vrooms the same. Now they do like curl it afterward, but like honestly for what? <sighs> Sometimes I get frustrated with myself cause like honestly, I saw the lady do it. And she's the same, she's on the box. She must be the creator or something. I've seen her make several tutorials on YouTube and she gets it to work every single time. So I definitely do think that it does work. You obviously just have to like, really practice with it. They say you can create all of these different types of curl styles. They like have a QR code right on the top of the box so you can scan it. They teach all kinds of tutorials. I should be able to do this. I want to be able to do this. Hi. Hi there. Yeah, this is like learning. Okay, so there we go. Flip, room like a freaking motorcycle. Okay, and now I'm trying to pull very gently. Yes, it's slipping out the bottom. It's one great big giant mess. Oh. Curl has formed. Here we go. This is maybe too much hair. Okay. Vroom like motorcycle. Pulling it through. Curl discipline. Maybe I can't see through my eyelashes. What happens if I just don't follow their instructions and just go like that and then pull it all the way through, you know? That's why you follow instructions. Y'all, I'm busting out in a sweat. Am I rashy? <gasps> I feel like I had like really high energy when I uh, started this and now I'm just kind of sad. Room like a motorcycle. Room like a motorcycle. Please. I just want one curl so we can show the folks at home that yes, it does really work. Okay. Ha, I brought in reinforcements. What's this one's name? I don't remember. I'm gonna see if I can have any luck trying it on another person's hair. That's something I always say about these like specialty hair curling items is sometimes I feel like it's easier like if somebody is like doing your hair for you. How common is that? I personally just get really frustrated with myself when I cannot get positive results from a gadget because obviously something that has been around as long as this has to have an avid fan base of customers and people that are really satisfied with this product. So I hate to just come here and kind of like, even though you guys know, does this thing really work is just all about the spirit of being silly and having fun with like weird items that I find on the internet, but I hate to just like come here and tell you guys like, no, a product like doesn't really work when obviously it must for somebody, just maybe not me personally. Uh, but I'm gonna see if I can like get a positive result because honestly, you guys, my hair is starting to feel a little crispy in these sections that I just keep going over and over and over again. And I'm trying to be on a healthier hair journey. I feel like I have all these nice little baby hairs like starting to grow back in. I'm trying to like not pull it up in sassy buns as much. So I hate to just kind of be like for four or five months like trying to take much better care of my hair and avoid the temptation of crimping every single day. 
and then just like do one random video and like <laughs> fry it to a crisp. So, okay, we have this section here to the front toward the head and we have roomed like a motorcycle and okay something is trying to happen there i feel like that was like more successful than i've been that's kind of one of the things that seems a little tricky to me is getting nice and close to the root with this bad boy I'm trying to remember every single time to pull it to the front. It is kind of tricky like when you're starting out with this tool to try and just be like remembering everything you're supposed to be doing, you know? Ooh, crispity crunchity. I thought that this was gonna be like redemption video today. Forward, back, vroom like a motorcycle. Trying to not apply too much pressure. Pulling it through. God. What is that? Easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. Oh. <sighs> oh. Maybe if you're kind of like somebody like me, I feel like I was like a late bloomer with like the clipless curling iron thing. So maybe if this was like your first curling iron and you learned with this instead of having learned with a clipless curling wand, maybe that would be easier. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah, I mean, it does look kind of curly. Like, I kind of look like, I, I kind of look like this. Um, I kind of, you guys know how I like, like, the look of, like, <sighs> you know, just this. Like, you know, did you just crawl out of a crypt somewhere? Are you maybe that one teacher from Harry Potter, you know? where she just kind of looks like this. I kind of like it, you know? If I if I was styling a wig like this, this looks great. You know, blast a little dry shampoo and you're like, you know, like a vampire or something. I don't know. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You, you can't tell me that's not a perfect curl right there. Look at that. <gasps> Did I get the discipline? I mean, it's kind of sticking up straight because like I curled it on the top of the head. Okay, I'm trying to be gentle, trying to not overdo nothing. <gasps> oh, ah! you guys, <gasps> look at that. Look at that. Oh, she's got bounce. Can I do it again? Maybe I was just clamping down to tightly earlier because I have a little bit more space in between the plates this time. <gasps> so they say like the direction or like how you do this and then like how it cools is how it styles. I think that it really does matter that you like gently, super gently clamp the plates and then I think it obviously, this is not gonna work. There ain't no way that's gonna work. It started working, then it stopped working. I think it also just takes a really fine hand because I think that it turns out best if you apply like steady, even pressure and speed. I think that why mine are turning out wonky is because every time I get to like this portion, I like get it started at the base of my scalp. It's going pretty good. Then I think I'm kind of like pausing right here. So it's ending up more like straightened in the middle. And then I think I'm finishing off strong. So I'm getting like this nice, like the nicest curl at the end of my hair. But how? Oh, look at that. That's, that's maybe just as jacked as the other ones. What does that look like? What does it look like? Kind of cute, honestly. <laughs> Just a little uh, perfectly imperfect, you know? I'm sure y'all can tell my energy is a little low at this point. I think I had a sugar high when I began this video and now my eyelashes very sweaty and I feel kind of sad 
that at this point in time, I still don't feel like I've 100% mastered the technique. I think it can be done. I think I just haven't been able to do it yet. I think what I'm gonna maybe do, we'll see, you guys. I might practice a little bit more on, you know, ye old mannequin head over there. See if I can maybe like just get the technique down a little bit more. And like, is there gonna be more to this video at the end? I don't know. I really thought that I would be able to like do it really well this time. Um, I wanted to film this on a day when I was like in a particularly good mood. And um, I watched tutorial videos, I read the instructions. I feel like I understand the technique in theory. I just haven't been able to like really 100% accurately get it in practice yet. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you guys, this is like my third refilm. It's like three o'clock in the morning the next morning. And I honestly keep watching the footage that I filmed and it's almost like I can see what I'm doing wrong, but I can't fix it. First of all, I just cannot get the hang of pulling my hair to the front to curl it. Like I do just always want to pull it out to the side. I think I'm always confusing keeping it straight with pulling it to the front. So two, your hand goes back, you room forward, and you pull it without pulling it too tight. And that's just kind of like what I'm getting. I mean, it's almost like a curl is beginning, but I'm honestly starting to feel like I have jacked my hair up so much <laughs> from like doing this wrong. Like, I don't know what kind of hair mask I'm gonna put on my hair. I feel like obviously it has to be user error because I keep going back and looking at tutorials and I see other people getting it to work. And yet every time I try and do it, it seems like I'm making the same mistake over and over again, but I can't figure out what the mistake is. Okay, trying to not pull too tight. See, it's just every time I see that piece, like why is it doing that, you know? Is that kind of a curl if I twist it? That's kind of two curls now that I've twisted it a bunch, but this looks real scraggly at the front. Okay, your arm goes back and your hair goes forward and you pull straight. And it looks kind of frizzy. I feel like I'm also like not curling it the right way when it's cold. Cause that's what the lady does in the tutorial is she like, you know, pulls it through and then like curls it around on her finger really quick to like help the curl form. I mean, these look pretty nice. I feel like this looks better than what I was able to get yesterday. And see this, I feel like I haven't even attempted to really curl this side of my head because that's like blatantly what the instructions say is for one side, the tip is supposed to be up and for the other side, the tip is supposed to be down. And you guys, I can't even imagine how I would properly do the mechanics of that. I'm trying to pull it forward straight. Oh, I don't know why I'm like super like hyper fixated right now to try and get this to work. Okay, so that's what they say is your hand with the hair goes back and then this twist forward and why is it so hard? See, that's what I'm saying. It's not, it is not in my human nature to be pulling my hair forward. But see, I mean, it is looking curlier today. I would argue that these look pretty curly, but I would still argue for myself personally, at least, this is not easier for me than just a traditional clipless curler. I wish it was. I always love gadgets like this. For the sake of science, I think I have cooked my hair enough. I mean, I feel, I feel like I got a couple good curls out of this thing. I just don't feel like I 100% can master the mechanics 
at least not in one tutorial. I feel like I would be more comfortable with continuing to test this on a wig to learn the mechanics, but I don't know if I would continue like wanting to curl my real hair with this. But like I said, I mean, my hair is not the healthiest right now anyway. I've definitely been in a year long, couple year long process right now of trying to, you know, condition it and form healthier habits, which clearly I never remember to put on heat protectant spray. So I'm not, I have not 100% formed the healthy hair habits yet. I am glad that I got it to like, I feel like work pretty decent, like at least once. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Should I try again? Do you own this? Have you tried this yourself? Thank y'all so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, uh, if you guys check the info box down below, there's lots of links. One link will take you guys to my Snapchat show where I upload brand new episodes every Monday and Thursday afternoon. Or you can follow me on TikTok, TikTok at Graveyard Girl. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.